The toilet is surprisingly pretty clean, and if you're glad there's no- Door opened. Bruh. Yeah, Alright everybody, welcome back to Punishment Simulator 2. Otherwise known to you guys as uh, Curse 2. But for me, let me tell you, the suffering is immeasurable. That said, uh, we're back at the gas station. Remember last time we left from this church? We have acquired two ores, we took down two bosses. I came back here to, you know, refill my HP and also refill my jar. You'll notice there's a purple bar here. This happened because on the way of doing that, I fought a red skull, I kicked his ass, but it leveled me up. So what I did is I put a point into mine because we do have some scrolls for magic. So I want to use those, so I put into mine, so we'll see how that plays out for us. Otherwise, everything should be the same. We're going to be rolling back to the church really quickly, though. Because I was told by you guys, I missed something there that I'm going to need for later. So I might as well get it out of the way now, so I don't have to return later and be like, Oh, what, what am I doing? Now that said, before we leave, remember that shotgun? It's great and everything, right? But it takes up a lot of space. Well, what happens if we combine that shotgun with, uh... A little <laughs> saw, you say. So I'm not sure if it's any stronger, but at least it takes up less room, so that's always a plus, I would say. We'll go to the church, and I'll pick up whatever I left there, and after that we're going to a new place. We're going over to the tavern. Now, I heard that the tavern is kind of interesting. Be be I'm, I'm just going to change the tire, I guess. That's it. I mean, this is fairly easy. <laughs> I have arrived at the church. Um, guess what? This time from the gas station to the church, no flat tire event happened, so it seems to be random. I guess whenever we- if it happens next time, I gotta keep watching to maybe the left or the right. That's what probably happened there. I wasn't aware that to look to the left or the right, but yeah, there's a creature in there. Game loves its instant game overs, doesn't it? Okay, let's uh, dip out here. We just gotta go in, run in, and run out. No, no lolly gagging around. We just gotta go here, and apparently... Oh, I see. I was told there was a discolored area here that I needed to pry open. Ah, aha, uh -huh, green skull. Right? Well, I mean, I guess I needed this for something. Don't know what just yet, but we have a green skull. Perfect. Let's, uh, run out really quickly. Nobody attack me, please. I just need to get back into my vehicle. Okay, so, gonna be very simple. From here, we just gotta go right, and then left. And then the first exit we get is a bar. So we're going to a brand new area. What happens if we get that flat tire event? Well, I guess I just gotta keep my eyes open this time, right? Oh no, why? I'd rather not even deal with it. Okay. Ah, yeah, yeah, you can move left and right. But, I mean, I don't have a weapon here. Oh, I do. Okay. But maybe after we remove one bolt, we take a little... a little gander, a little peek. I'm on to you! Don't even try it. Let's go. Okay, we're... we're at the last one. And I've been keeping an eye on those bushes. I'm not seeing any movement. Everything's good? Oh, you gotta put him back in as well. Why 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 must you torture me this way? Okay, we're 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 at the last one now. You know, this doesn't seem hard, but it kind of is. You know what this actually is? Like, I'm supposed to keep the, the cursor, right, within the grip. It reminds me of those old-school Screamer horror mazes games that were, like, in Flash game. Like, basically, you had to... Get inside the car. Inside the car. Oh, God. Where you essentially had to guide a little, like, say, black square through a maze, right? And if you touched the, the walls of the maze, which became thinner and thinner as you progressed with the game, a Screamer would happen. Or, even if you didn't touch the, the uh, walls, the game was... A <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we could have gone straight. Yeah, it's gonna be the exit coming up. Okay. So, new area, bar, perfect. Alright. Let's, uh, get to it here, huh? No side pad this time, right? Tavern is adorned with rows of bushes on either side. 
You look inside the trash and discover a small key. Seems like a bad place to put it. Not for me. All right, got ourselves a key already. You can see lights inside. Either someone was here or they've been left on a while. It's a flyer for a missing dog. It's from 12 years ago. Hopefully they found that dog. A town flag waves in the air outside the front door. And nothing in this bush? No. Okay. So, let me guess. Let me guess. Oh, yes, sir. Thank you, Key. You've been mighty useful. Let me get my trusty hammer. Oh, got plenty of places to check out here. Researchers discover watery grave. Timothy Sanhoff, 39, was known for his work unraveling the mystery the myster mysteries of the bizarre crystal skull found last year. Hey, we got one of those. Witnesses state that his car was seen veering off the road and into the lake without warning. Go off to the left here. Ooh, oh, you know, are these? If they're these, which I believe they are, are these nuts? No. Um, these cell, yeah, we can actually use that for a flashlight now. Excellent. All right. Oh, good. Good. This was the day Jen was rescued from the old mine. Shaft out back. I shouldn't have let her go down there at all. Oh, this is, uh, this is Cursed 1. When Jen was first, uh, saved. Jennifer's father liquor license. It looks like it hasn't been renewed. Oh, clown man. You know what? You're not too bad, luckily. Oh, look at this perfect KO. Thank you for the ammunition, my friend. How much experience was that, by the way? Rust away. Oh, don't we? I think we got like clippers a long time ago that were or, like hedge clippers that were like rusted. Let's go up through here, which means the restroom. The light swings back and forth, slowly flickering occasionally. It is clear, at least at the end of its rope. Some cleaning supplies leaning against the wall. They're too bulky, useless to take. Trash can has a new plastic bag in it. Something to find. Okay. Oh, look at us right there. It's old here. Edge Lord. That oh. soap. A bar of soap. Feel pretty much unused. Smells nice too. That's good. This thing doesn't work. There's an empty bottle of hand soap in the middle. Yeah, you already said. Why? Don't even spend time here. Grab the soap. I can't admire my my good looks. Apparently, is there anything else here? I'm not gonna stay in there. What's this? Oh, there's a bathroom stall here, too. The toilet is surprisingly pretty clean, and if you're glad there's no... Door opened. Bruh. Is, is that the same creature that popped up in the, uh, mirror? By the way, that creature was a giant, like, praying mantis, was it not? Okay, look, I didn't even get a chance to check this out before this creature showed up. Oh. Red scroll. What does that one do? The wrapping reads, Ignis Malice. Well, I mean, they're all in. <laughs> Forget they're all in Latin, so I don't know what they do. So, what's left here is you. It's a painting of a barn in the thunderstorm. You always found it nice. The light switch here doesn't control this light. You wonder what it does. Hm. Small table sits against the wall, nothing on it. Oh, n wait. Is this gonna be a, a weapon for us, or like I gotta put this on a knight or something? Ah, oh, damn it. Fit. Wait, does it fit like right there? Oh, come on, it should fit right there. Look, oh, it's touching. Ah! <laughs> Uh, there we go. I was too lazy to draw. I, damn it. All right, whatever. We'll, we'll figure it out later. Wait, is it a weapon? Oh, yo, yo, let it be a weapon. Oh, he's a sword and shield. It is a weapon. Let's go. All right. Uh, let's go outside. I guess we need a key for you. Oh no. All right, it's fine. I know how to deal with you. Uh, just don't hit you when you're blocking, or don't hit you into you do that. 
I still got him. Oh, guess who's got no arms to defend himself? Hey, you go ahead and uh, tongue whip all you want, buddy. That's it for you. Yeah, I kind of got the zombie fight down to uh, a T now. Any experience to level me up? That'd be great. Mm, no, not quite. Well, let's put another zombie to rest here. Another one I've hooked you up with, Death. I wonder how many more of these we got. Well, I'll ask them later. Trash cans out of here and apparently a dirt pad. You dig into the trash and discover some useful shotgun shells. Yeah, you're right about that. Nothing else? The pad behind the bar leads to where Jennifer got lost years ago. That was a bad night. The trees here have very much look very much alive. They lined a pad back to the old abandoned mine site. Which is where Jennifer got lost. The sign was meant to keep people away from the mine entrance, but it disappeared the day Jen came back to us. Disappeared? Hmm. You can feel some kind of evil presence pushing you back when you try to go forward. What should you do now? Do I got anything for... Evil presence? Holy, a crucifix would be free. It's a simple crucifix. You're lucky it can ward off evil beings. <gasps> oh! Oh, it's right in front of me. Ah. What, what, what am I... What the hell is this? Blinded me? Okay, do I gotta flip back and forth or what? Oh, I hit him. So like, ah! Ah, he, I, okay, okay, I see what you gotta do. So the crucifix is to bring him up, who eventually kind of go away. I can still hit him, but if I want to see what attack's coming, the crucifix has to be out so I can actually see where the... Okay, I got it, I got it. Nope! Left. Right. Oh, we got him? That was the boss of this area? No second form? I'm not complaining. All right. I used my heal, though. That's fine. We can always go back to the gas station and refill up. We got another orb. And a level up. Okay. Um. I mean, I just want to go more power, you know? The more damage I do, the less time I have to fight. This spot is where Jennifer wandered off into the stairwell years ago. The entrance somehow vanished near after she returned. The fence is still standing from long ago when the accursed stairwell was right here. A freaking tower? Oh, that's the tower that we can see in our map, isn't it? Going oh. red. Can't be good. So I, I guess... I don't think we can do anything here then. Alright. Let's go back. Oh, wait, wait, okay. So because this place is very Jennifer-oriented... What do we remember? Now, I don't remember it because uh, I have a terrible memory. But... Remember, um... The picture? that we saw in Jennifer's house that had a date. This place is owned by Jennifer's parents. We're looking for a lock code. We might be looking for Jennifer's birthday from that picture. Now I remember it, so give me a second. Let me, let me look at my old video to see what the date was. A code, oh, it just gave me a red skull. Well, I got news for you, buddy. I have a green one in my trunk, so uh, you have a friend. Okay, while we're back here, I, I think I got everything kind of sorted. I gotta go refill this again, but we have some items that I think we could probably combine now, right? We said we had the flashlight, that we should be able to combine the batteries with. Flashlight has fresh batteries in it now, right click to turn it on or off, perfect. And rust away. That's gonna fit, so let me let me drop you here momentarily, I'm not sure when I have to use you, but let's... Where's my clippers? Clippers, clip... Oh god, where's the clippers? That's not the clippers! Catch clip- oh, they're, they're down here. By that evil doll. Yo! They look brand new! Perfect. So now I guess we can get rid of you. That's done, that's done. Great. In case you're wondering, why don't you do a little bit of, uh, fixing? I've done it before, but whenever you load the game again, everything... Starts off like a mess down here, so it's only momentary. It doesn't carry over, unfortunately, because otherwise 
I'd be treating this like it's Resident Evil 4, you know? Yeah, Alright everybody, so we're approaching our next destination. As a matter of fact, we're here. This up here is what we're doing next. Okay, let's see what awaits us here. Um, don't drop that inside. Let's go... oh. It's a pleasant looking place. Let's go to my inventory. Drop this boy. Well, you know what, I'm gonna take the orbs with me. This feels like a place that orbs could be useful. Take up a lot of room. Oh, so much room. And we're not gonna leave ourselves for much uh, equipment, or at least items in there, if there's items that'll be picked up. Alright, let's give it the old college try. This symbol feels familiar, but you don't... Bad, come on, dog. You know what? For experience and items. There you go. You see, you're proud of yourself. Oh, I don't need the HP. I'll save it for later, I guess. The symbol feels familiar, but you don't know where you have seen it before. There's a card reader next to the large metal door. This place is decently good security. A card reader? Oh, okay. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. That's okay. I have a card. Yeah. Got this from Jennifer's house. Some sort of key card or ID card that has Jennifer's last name on it and a magnetic strip. Jennifer's last name, huh? It's a family card. Interesting. Okay. Uh, let's probably use it and come back and drop it off because I have no room, so... I gotta be very... Conservative. Oh, it's opened up. All right, let's go drop it off and then we'll come back. Oh, come on! A zombie the moment we walk in? Well, I mean, it's not that bad, but still. All right, come here, dog. Okay, this time he got me a couple of times. He tricked me a couple of times. But, joke's on him, finally, because he's done for good. Hey, dog, um, how many bodies, by the way? I know you're a busy dude and everything. Four. Okay. So, that's done with. Let me get my sword and shield. What do we have here? A note says, since Jennifer has been blessed by our Lord Malice, we will all be following his commands from her. No exceptions? Map. Entrance, void generator, throne room in the middle, holding cell to the right, storage. This is where I think we wound up at the end of the first video. Remember when I rescued that girl and we got caught by the occultist, but I was told to don't do that yet? I think that's where you wind up. So it's kind of like a bit of a shortcut to the cultist room, but to the cultist base, but I mean, I don't think we're ready then, right? It looks like some sort of locker, but it's closed electronically. Oh, good. It's a sliding puzzle, isn't it? Two hours later. Okay, we- oh, it gave me experience, too! Nice! Oh, God. I gotta go drop this off. Look at- look at that little room we have! Okay, so we're ready to go inside. Now, we gotta figure out where we wanna go. We have Void Generator, Throne Room, Holding Cell, Storage. I don't imagine the holding cell way to go there. So it's between Void Generator, Throne Room, and Storage. Okay. It's like I'm back in the barn again. Aha! Aha! What is this? It says the void generator destroys anything do not touch. Void generator. This looks like there's something dangerous could happen, so you decide to stay the hell off of it. But I mean, we could probably use it to destroy an evil monster. This machine looks more complex than you expected from the surrounding areas. This is the strength of science fiction. Or straight out of science fiction. Not wrong. What do we have here? Oh no. <laughs> Another puzzle. Oh, I hate these light- this is one of those things that you gotta light everything up. And you gotta do it little by little because obviously when you go back, it turns things back on and- oh. Two hours later. Okay, I think- I think we're close. Oh god. Okay, we got it. Oh. Oh. Wow, it looks like this place gets power from some kind of dimensional rift. How on earth did they accomplish this? Okay, 
let's go back for now. So, this was technically a corner. The storage room, I'm gonna leave the throne room for last, because that sounds like bossy type area. Storage room, you know, it feels like we might find some items. I think this should be, oh, another. What the hell is that back there? It's like a wall of flesh. Okay, don't get your ass kicked by this enemy. Damn it! Well, I got up my ass a little bit, kind of kicked by the zombie, which is no good if we're... Oh, oh I killed him before he tongue bashed me. Oh, but we leveled up again, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> How about now, Falcon? You know what? No. Power's been so good, I have to hit him so little now before they die. It's great. Power me up, baby. Okay, and we still have our heal. We're full HP. Let's go. Let's put this... So that's going to be, after this guy, three zombies left for death. Three, right? Three. You said three or four, so that should be three right there. Yeah, you can you can bugger off, buddy. Okay. Um, what are these things? <gasps> oh, mama! Yo, I could actually use guns now. Let's go. This crate feels like you could break it fairly easy. Okay. Well, what is this like? <laughs> A robot? Okay. You guys remind me, there's a robot here to be picked up. There's a large empty box in the corner of the room. You can see small bits of plastic in the bottom. Okay, we're technically now in the throne room, according to the map. It's Jennifer. You can see her next room on the monitor, but something seems off about her. This monitor shows vital signs for something, a lot of medical jargon you don't know. Oh god. Is it her birthday again? <laughs> no. Not this time, buddy. This console is powered by the Void Generator in Sector 2. Some of you have been complaining about the on mechanism there. Just do the column. Just do one column at a time, guys. It's easy. Oh. Well, I already did that, so cool. It looks like the door is activated by something that goes in the holes. Okay. You know what? Those look fairly round, so at least this we could go back and get my robot. Oh, there we go. <gasps> was, was that the right thing to do? <laughs> he wasn't attacking, but... I don't know what what he's up to. What he's up to? Elaborate door is securely shut. No, just go go in. Damn, Jennifer. Well, well, well. Look what we got here. I hear you've been snooping all over the place, and here you are in the center of our operating base. Care to discuss what you've been up to, Jennifer? So you figured out, huh? Don't believe my appearance? Well, that's just rude. I look over this girl's soul in fair and square. Finders keepers. Oh. So it's something controlling, Jennifer. I am the voice of Malice, and I inform this cult of his wishes. They have nearly finished his new body. You will not get in our way. I don't know what you thought you would find here, but the girl is long gone. You wasted your time coming back. She no longer exists. We're in total control. Her soul is mine, outsider. Oh, she's gonna fight me like she's uh, Jason's mother in front of the- No, she's got a whole body. I... Oh god. Okay, she swung to the right. Okay, I guess. Ah! Jeez, she's so quick. Should I use my gun? No. Ah! I should. I have so much. Oh, look at my. I pop her over and over with the handgun. Is that maybe a duck? No, that's the duck. Oh god, it's so quick! It hurts like hell too. Yeah, we're gonna lose this one. Good idea. Alright, buddy. I'm just here to talk. Yes, it's me. Oh, it's her dad! Yeah, I mean, we know, no, she's not, it's not Jen, right? Are you daft? She's right over there! I know my own daughter, even if her mind is not the same as it was before. Give up this wild goose chase of yours. My wife and I will follow Jennifer to the end. You bastard, you're her dad. 
I ask no forgiveness for what's been done. This is how it must be. Why do this to your daughter? I have no choice. I gave up fighting against all of this ages ago. Malice is the only reason my Jennifer's alive at all, for better or worse. He brought her back to me. Changed, yes. But she's all that matters to me now. And besides, I have my orders. Orders from who? From the leader of our group. Jenner has been receiving instructions from Malice himself about our mission. We are the, cons the construct of a new body for him to use upon his return. It is a monumental task and costs many lives. But I love my daughter more than her pointless lives of what? You can't hide the truth forever? Truth! The truth is all around us, boy! This world is finished! We've been in a losing battle with this demon for years. I gave up a long time ago. And the fact that Jennifer still lives is proof that I chose the right side. What if I'm right? Wishful thinking for sure. I've been there myself plenty. The Jennifer we once knew is gone, yes. But I will still hold on to what she is now. You could never understand. I will prove it isn't her. If you somehow could, I would do anything to believe it. If something is somehow being kept from me, I had better be the first to know about it. Why would she put me through this? Proof, huh? If you do find any, show it to me, please. I will listen. Trust me. Okay, so you know what I mean. Not like we're equipped to fight her. She kicked my ass really. Anyway, so we need to get proof. But we still have a, a couple of places to go. That big-ass tower for a fag, and there's also, also that part of the map to the left. Okay, let's, uh... I'm gonna grab my robot. And, uh, I'm gonna go save. And I'm gonna wrap it up here. I hope you guys enjoyed. We got a boss down. We now know that Ma Jennifer is apparently possessed by Malice. And they're constructing a body for him. And we gotta get proof to the father. And he might help us maybe have an easier time finding her. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. As I mentioned, if you'd like to continue seeing more, keep letting me know and I'll definitely do the rest of this. And maybe we'll check out Curse 3 afterwards. I'll catch you next time.